everyone. In this video we're going to talk a little bit about hand tools and trimming um, equipment. First thing you're going to need is a pair of clippers. I always recommend getting the professional grade clippers. The ones that you buy that are for home grooming typically don't work very well. They don't last very long. So I always suggest investing in a pair of professional strength clippers, even for the home groomer. If you buy one pair, um, they could really last you forever if you're just grooming one or two dogs at home. So the model that I use is the Andes, however there are lots of different brands that are great. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about the blades here. There are um, a lot of different lengths of blades, so I'm just going to go over a few of the basic ones. And then on the website, um, in front of each grooming video, we'll talk a little bit about the specific blades we use to groom that specific breed of dog. The first one is the 40 blade. And this is a super, super short blade. It's going to be used for pads of the feet, um, and pretty much just even with the comb guard attachment to keep the dog's hair longer. And you can see the comb guard attachments come in different lengths also. And these are just called comb attachment or um, guard combs or um, any variations of that. But that basically is going to leave a longer length of hair on the dog. And the other thing I want to talk about with the blades is that there are some blades, such as the 7 and the 7F, these two leave the exact same amount of hair, the exact same length of hair. However, you can see that they look very different. This is called a straight 7, and you can see the jaggedness is really just for cutting through mats. You do want to be super careful. I actually wouldn't recommend this to um, a novice home groomer. Once you get a little more advanced, you can get one of these. It's also good for um, skimming which we'll talk about in some of the grooming videos. Um, this is a 7F. It's obviously a much safer blade. It is the same length. Most of the blades that you're going to want to stick with will be the F version. So don't let that confuse you if you're looking in the catalog. Um, also, it, the number 4 blade and the number 5 blade also come in these variations. So what you want to look for is the F at the end. That's the, the best blade to be using. And this is just a longer blade. This is a three-fourths blade. It leaves about a half of an inch. So you can see, obviously, that the lengths vary quite a bit on the blades. And then also, if you want even longer, you can put a comb attachment on top of your blade. I want to go over um, trimming tools, the scissors and whatnot. Um, I pretty much stick with curved shears. You can also buy straight shears. However, if you're going to invest in just one pair, I would recommend getting the curved and not the straights. Straights are good for doing, you know, bottoms of skirts, back of legs, however, you know, rounding feet, things like that. Most of the hair you're going to be cutting is going to be in, you know, in a, a curved pattern. So, like I said, if you're going to just buy one pair, I would go with the curved. And these come in different lengths. The shorter is um, probably better because it's safer. The longer ones are obviously, um, you can groom faster. However, for just the home groomer, I would stick with, um, with a shorter um, scissors. You can get them, you know, like 10 inches long, but again, for safety, stick with the shorter version. One of the things I can't live without are my thinning shears. Um, I definitely would recommend these. These are great for finishing, for making a more natural edge line, and I also use these quite a bit to break up mats and for dematting. Um, we have our standard nail trimmers. Of course, and you can also buy the kind that's completely closed in. I always recommend the kind that opens. Because if you have the kind that's closed off completely, they're called guillotine. If your dog's nails in there and you're not wanting to cut, sometimes um, if your dog gets upset, it can kind of get stuck on their foot. And um, that, of course, makes them more upset. So I always recommend the kind that completely open. And this is actually a Dremel. Um, I got this at the hardware store. Groomers use them on dog nails. You can buy a dog version also. And this is just for nail filing. So when you're done trimming or if your dog's nails aren't very long, you want to smooth them out use um, a filer such as the Dremel. And then with the blades and clippers, I also of course recommend having some sort of a cleaner. This is just a spray cleaner and you can actually use this, spray it right on your blade while your clippers are on. You're going to spray all around and kind of wipe it off. And that keeps your blades lubricated and keeps your um, blades disinfected. And for more heavy duty cleaning, now this is, this is sort of greasy, but for heavy duty cleaning, like at the end of the day or the end of the groom, you can use this um, clipper stuff and basically you just you turn your clippers on and you just dunk it in. And 
and now we'll just clean out all the extra hair in there. You do have to be get these really wiped off because, like I said, this solution is very greasy, and you don't want to use this um, between grooms or while you're grooming your dog. You really want to make sure that it's you know like at the end of the end of your groom. You really don't even have to do that after every groom, um, but just you want to make sure you do that when it starts to look like you have a lot of hair stuck in parts of the blade or whatnot. You can dip it in this solution and it'll really clean it out well. That's just a little overview about some of the um, trimming equipment that we'll be using in the videos.